My uh, emotions before the show are um, very up and down. Saturday morning at 7.30, I was up cooking sausages for the boys. I'm just living a normal life at that point on the day of the show. I just do my thing. I arrived at work and we're calm. What goes on within myself is that I have a feeling of confidence in the clothing. I believe that we are selling the Oliver Spencer brand and therefore don't need to send out conceptual runway looks. After everything's packed up and ready, I um, grab my Brompton and ride down to the show. Back forth, it's, it's such a buzz, it's such an electric period of time. Absolute madness. And what I try to do with the show is to create a moment, create a thing. I really enjoy the first run for the show always, because that's basically my time when I sit on the runway. I don't sit when you lot are all sitting out there. I critique it, we run through twice, because there's nothing worse than badly styled looks. The turbans were more stressful, more emotionally draining than anything else because of their complete and utter randomness. We're standing there, I'm by the monitor. I'm looking at the room, I can see the room's absolutely heaving. The guy's got the headset on, he's speaking, and eventually, right, we're going, we're going, we're going. What I knew I'd done to this collection was created a collection that was much more tactile, much more luxurious, much cleaner, and a bit more grown up. Our models are a reflection of what I see as the multicultural sort of way that London has become now. They reflect very much our customer base. The feeling of doing and delivering something that has worked is an immensely good feeling. <laughs>